All right, so now I'm gonna go tap my tree. I have a nice maple tree over here. It's pretty good size. Now, when you tap your maple tree, you wanna make sure it's at least 12 inches wide, which this one definitely is, so I don't have to worry about that. Some people say 10, but I like to err on the side of caution and just do 12 inches. You also wanna tap on the south facing side of the tree where the sun hits the most because apparently you get more sap if you do it that way. So this is the side that the sun hits mostly, is on this side. And when you tap your maple tree, you also wanna go about three feet high off the ground. And right above a root, if you can. If you do those things, you'll get more sap. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go right above one of these roots here and kind of see where they go down into the ground. So I'm gonna go right above that, maybe right here. That's looking like sun hits there a lot. So you can use a 5 16 drill bit to tap your tree or a 7 16 drill bit. Now, I like to use the 5 16 drill bit just because it's smaller puts a smaller hole in the tree, doesn't hurt the tree as much. You know, I'm not looking to get a whole ton of sap. I'm just making a little bit of syrup. If you want more sap, go with the bigger size. Go with the 7 16 It's gonna give you probably a little more sap. I like trees, you know, I like them. I don't like to hurt the tree more than I have to. The trees are my friend. They're giving me tasty maple syrup. The least I could do is just, you know, be easy on the thing. And look, I don't have the proper bucket either. I mean, this will be fine. This is fine. This is an old water container. It has this nice little handle on top. So that's like really convenient. Most people use hooks and they screw the hook into the tree. But, you know, like I said, I like to be nice to my trees and I don't like to poke all kinds of holes into my tree more than I have to. So I'm just going to use some rope and tie it around. All right, so I'm gonna drill my tap hole and I'm gonna drill it at a slight upward angle, just like that. So the sap flows downhill. So I didn't have to drill too deep to get a good sap flow. I'm gonna get some of that dust out of there. Clear that sawdust out. As you can see, I'm starting to get a good sap flow out of there. So you can see on my drill bit, I taped it off right here. And at the end of that tape is an inch and a half. And I didn't even go that far into the tree. I went maybe, maybe an inch and a quarter. Right here, I'm going to cut into this. On 
might tap that spile in there just a little bit. Just make sure I got a good seal and I'm not losing any sap. You don't want to tap it in too hard at all, just very lightly. You don't want to slam it home. So it's looking good. That'll be filled up in no time. Now I could have probably, well I would have been safe to add another tap to this tree, but I'm just going to leave it alone. Now when you want to tap your trees is when your temperatures during the daytime get above freezing, and then at nighttime it drops below freezing. That's when the sap starts flowing in the trees, so that's when you want to tap them. That's why people usually tap their trees February to March. So I'm going to leave this on here, check it tomorrow, see how much sap I got. Thanks for watching.